What's going on, guys? T Mart here. Welcome back to another episode of Griff White Hill. Game of Thrones. Not those fourth born. Parading in here like a conquering fucking hero. It was bad enough when it was just the soldiers. We can't live with them under our roof, soiling our house. I know you tried to stop them, my lord. But this occupation will break our people if it drags on. That's clearly what he wants. We can't let that scut rule this house. Like he's the cock and we're in his roost. Whether he rides out on horseback, or ends up in the ground, Griff Whitehill won't be here long. I'll see to it. I Very like good, that. my lord. But Griff Whitehill isn't the beginning of our troubles, or the end of them. We've got to start showing some, showing some power around here. We've been on our heels for way too we long. Need to we need to start at showing all the that pieces. we still got some, uh, some fightness. White Hill men aren't just in our house. They've raided our lands, burnt farms, and cut down our trees. All the way from here to High Point. How do we kill a snake, then? By smashing its head. Griff is in the head. It's his father. Perhaps. But Griff is here. We have access to him. And they have Ryan. Ooh, that's a good point. If we do something to Griff, then they're gonna do something to, uh... To Ryan, that's for sure. He carved these soldiers himself. I don't care what Gwyn Whitehill may have told you at the funeral. Who knows what horrors they're putting him through, held prisoner at High Point. You can't forsake his safety. But we have to do something. My lord, at least give us a target to aim for. Damn, dude, this is a huge decision. No way. How do you ever make a decision like this? Expel Griff or save Ryan? No, oh, definitely save Ryan. We get Ryan. It's our out. number one deal. Bring him home. Once he's safe, we can face the White Hills head on. That's easy. And what of Griff and his men? I thought it was going to be. But we can only take this occupation for so long. If you think I'm giving up on Ironrath, you're wrong. By keeping this family together, Ironrath will stand. Roderick is right. We are nothing if we leave Ryan behind. Then. It's decided. We're bringing Ryan back. Hell yeah! We still don't have the men to hold our own home, let alone Storm High Point. We lost most of our men with Gregor at the Twins. Unfortunately, Roderick was not able to secure the backing of the Glenmores. That means we have to count on Asher and Mira. How? Asher means to sail home from Essos with a company of hardened sellswords. But they're not bannermen. We'll need to pay them for it. Which is why Mira's part to play is just as crucial. She can get us the coin we need in King's Landing. You don't okay. imagine we have the luxury of waiting for them. Asher and Mira are a long way from here. I have faith in my children. I don't think Lud Whitehall will kindly stand by while we pull ourselves together. If we have to go to battle before we're ready, we risk losing everything. But sometimes you have no choice. That time may indeed come, but it's not now. The White Hills aren't ready for war. It won't be long before you're able to take action yourself. Hell yeah. Well, one way or another, there's a fight brewing, so I have much to prepare, and men to train. My lord? Trouble is afoot, ladies and gents. That's for sure. Our number one objective is to save Ryan, though. My lord. Good old brother. There may be something we can do now. A voice from High Point, Gwyn Whitehill. I spoke with her at the funeral. As did I. And she's willing to meet. Away from her father's guards. I hope you trust me enough as Sentinel to consider this. It would be wise to hear what she has to say. Arrange a meeting. What she has to say may prove useful. I believe she can be trusted. But best use caution, nonetheless. Of course. And I'll make sure no one else knows. For now, at least. Good. Handle things right with Gwyn. And she may even help us in High Point. 
when the time comes. Man, my eyes are really watering right now for some reason. Ugh. Jeez. Turn the webcam on and all of a sudden I'm blinking like a blind fool. I need to get some, some LASIK, man. Wearing these contacts all day every day while editing videos and looking at screens and playing games and stuff is just... It's atrocious at times. I want the dove pie served with a spoon of lemon cream. We'll have to let the kitchens know. And these flowers. They're just all wrong in the crown lands. Uh-oh. Not Mira, supposed to be talking to him. Are you listening to me? You better turn and walk away, Lady girl. Marjorie, oh, good tidings no. to you today. Thank you, Lord Tyrion. And you, Lady Mira. A word in private, if I may. Oh, shit. I'll return her shortly. Who would I be to deny Lord Tyrion? Very soon you'll be the queen. And if you're anything like the current one, you'll deny me all you like. Mira, please excuse me for a moment, my lady. I promise I won't keep you long. I don't it's think Lady Marjorie likes tough. me. She doesn't want me hanging out with him, Although but... after tonight, I suspect I won't be her least favorite Lannister anymore. He's supposed to be giving us money for our want, family. Oh, there's much unpleasant business to be done today. But I bring you a bit of good news. I've arranged for the Crown to purchase Forrester Iron. Yes! A royal decree sits on my desk now. And I'll have my squire Podrick see to it at the first opportunity. Good stuff. You'll bring prosperity to your family. They're lucky to have you. You honor me, Lord Tyrion. Only you could make such a strong gesture to House Forrester. My lord, do I still owe you a favor? As handmaiden to the new queen, you will undoubtedly prove useful. I'm sure I'll think of something. Enjoy the festivities. Goodbye, Lord Tyrion. All right, so that's good news, but now we've got Queen Marjorie to Today deal with. Today of all days. You know I didn't want you talking to him. You're playing a dangerous game, Mira. Sarah will help me with my gown and hair. <laughs> oh, I'll shit. I'll deal with you after the wedding. Damn! Come with me, Sarah. Damn, that sucks. Gotta look out for our own, though. Gotta look out for our If I would have denied him, he would have been like, oh no, we're not gonna buy your ironwood. And we would have been screwed, so. Whatever. Garrett. Easy now. Sorry. I was just keeping at the ready. That's good. Don't lose that. I understand your uncle paid you a visit. What did he want? Not many people pass through here. What brought him this far? He was just delivering ironwood shields for the Night's Watch. Good. Our stocks are running low. I know it couldn't be easy seeing him, but you have to leave all that behind. Especially now that you're a ranger. Aye. I definitely can't tell what that meeting told was actually me about. You could stand with these men, but not every brother's a friend. If it came to it, and you were in trouble north of the Wall, any of them you'd trust by your side. You know these men. Who do you want watching your back? Finn can handle himself. I'd bring him to a fight. I'm glad he can trust your brother. I'll remember him. Errolt Holt of White Harbor, Corlys Wells from Stony Sept, and finally we've got more spawn of nobility joining us. No. Brit oh, Warwick no way. of House Whitehill. It can't be. Check House Whitehill. Make sure you're not bringing this any one's for the Boltons. This son of a bitch. Garrett. Garrett, what's the matter? You know him. Come on, get moving. Garrett, who is he? That man murdered my family. What? Snow! See these new recruits to the maester. Don't do something you'll regret. Oh, we're gonna do it. You better believe we're gonna do it. If it isn't the fucking pig farmer. I'm here because of you. Got sent to the wall for that little party I do with your family. Don't think it's over. 
Best watch your back. What are you waiting for, recruit? Personal invitation from the king? Welcome to the war, brother. Looking forward to it. That's enough. <laughs> I said move. I'll be seeing you, farm boy. The song, boys. That is quite a twist. I did not expect to see that happen. Man, I don't know. Are we going to become friends, kind of like me and Finn did? Or is it going to be more of a... Uh... We're actually going to stay enemies. I, I don't think we can become friends after he kills my family like he did. He was the one with this like the pitchfork, right? We were supposed to be up there. I'll never see another wedding like this. I don't know what you did with Tyrion Lannister that made Cersei want to punish you. But it never should have affected me like this. I'm so sorry. I had no idea any of this would happen. But what Tyrion Lannister did for me, it may have saved my family. I hope that's true, Mira. I really do. Because you don't know how furious Marjorie is at you. When I was getting her dressed for the wedding, she was talking about who she could replace you with. <gasps> no. I probably shouldn't have even told you. But I suppose you have a right to know. Tell me who it is. Why? What are you going to do to her? Sarah! It doesn't matter. It was just names. This is what about names? you. What names? Look, you once promised to help me with Marjorie when our positions were reversed. That meant everything to me. Maybe now I'm in a position to help you. Otherwise, Marjorie's going to make you leave King's Landing. You're pushing her to it, Mira. Thank you, Sarah. I could really use a hand right now. I don't want to do this all alone. Don't worry. We'll figure this out. I'll beg Marjorie if I have to. I'm not letting her send you home. What a nice girl. Look, the pie. Oh no, they're already serving the pie. Oi. We're missing everything. I know you. It's the guard that saw us that night. The other night with Damien. Shit. Before he disappeared. I have a few questions to ask you. What were you doing there with him? Mira? Don't think I don't know it was you. I don't forget a face. So what if I was with him? Oh. Oh. Seven hells. Oh, oh shit. shit. Girl, I need a towel or a wet cloth, something. Lord Morgren. You'll need to find someone else. I'm not finished Are with you her. you sick, man? You think I have time to bother with handmaidens? Release her, or I'll have Queen Cersei find you another job. Damn. Now let's go get him a towel. <laughs> wow. Well. I just ruined a perfectly good shirt to come to your rescue. Uh-oh. No need to explain what that was all about. We all have our own mischief to hide. That was kind of you. I do appreciate it. You hitting on us? Well, I didn't do it merely for your benefit. Then why? Perhaps I recognize a kindred spirit. It's not every little handmaiden who can steal an ironwood decree with the crown right out from under my nose. Consider me impressed. My partners, I am afraid to say, felt rather differently about it. You flatter me, my lord. <laughs> I'm only saying you have potential, my lady. Your problem is, you still think like a handmaiden. Do you even understand why Tyrion gave you the Ironwood deal? Because it wasn't out of the kindness of his heart. I'm no fool. He wants something from me. Access to Marjorie. Or perhaps he just knew he could get the cheapest ironwood from me. Very observant. You are no mere handmaid. I remember what it was like to be new to this game. You feel like you're drowning, don't you? But there's no one you can really trust. What you need more than anything is an ally. That's Sarah. 
I could be that for you, Lady Mira. Okay. Is that something you'd be interested in? And what exactly are the terms of this offer? What do you get out of it? A smart question. So, let me be blunt. Circumstances have put us at odds. But what if we were to work together? Control the price of ironwood together? We could get very, very rich together. Or should I go back to Lord Whitehill? Who has proven to be very interested in it? Oh shit. What's going on? Did Tyrion just kill him? What happened? Oh. Joffrey's dead! I'm afraid it just became a very bad time to be linked to Tyrion Lannister. Tell me that you got that Ironwood decree from him before the wedding. Oh no. He said it was waiting for me on his desk. <sighs> what a shame. Such potential. I'm afraid any chance of our alliance has become quite impossible. No way! You understand? I can get it. I'll get it back from his chamber. That would not be an easy task, especially now. But if it were to disappear, perhaps we could talk again. You have a good head for business, Lady Mira. It'd be terribly disappointing to see it on the end of a pike. Oh, shit! This guy's the real deal, dude.